right, so those are some names. By the way, can they stop talking about Nary fighting a Bantamweight? Can we just stop this already? Somebody get the scale on the show, please. <laughs> like, like, are you serious right now? Like, like, oh, yeah. Nary, one of the top Bantamweights. You're not a Bantamweight. You can't make Bantamweight. I don't know if people know this. You have to make the weight to be in that weight. You can't be like, oh, he's, he's totally Bantamweight. Is he? Can't even make the weight. If you can't no. make the weight, you can't make the weight, bro. Get this, you funky. Burchelt's back, bro. He's back. Are you excited? Definitely. Man, they're going to put him in there with Elisar Valenzuela, bro. Okay, that's right. Call him <laughs> Alessar Valens, bro. That's what we're going to call him. All right? <laughs> he's, related to, he's related to Richie Valens, bro. He comes out with a guitar and he sings this shit. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, Donna. Like the whole nine, bro. Like, that's what he does. Bro. He comes out. This dude's the shit, bro. Out of Mexico, bro. If you're from Mexico, that makes you tough. This, just, just that alone. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, we're <laughs> Joel Love is 40 ounce asking me who? What do you mean who? I just told you, it is Sad Valens, bro. All right? Who? <laughs> He's three and three with one no contest in his last six fights. And it's coming off a TKO. kill. Dude, this dude, he has a knockout highlight reel, bro, of him getting knocked out. You know what I mean? And uh, he just got knocked out in his last fight. And he's going to throw him in there with Brichelle. He just got knocked out. And let me repeat this to everybody. Right? Brichelle's arguably the best 130-pound fight in the world. This dude is 3-3 three and three with one no, no contest. Got knocked out in his last fight. And they're going to throw him in there with Miguel Brichelle, bro. Like, uh, this is unbelievable. This is who top rank is putting Brichelle in the ring against. What happened to dude? What's going on here? Have you ordered? Have you ever ordered one of those shits like from like China and shit on that Wish.com and all that shit? Where like you look at the picture and it's like, oh shit! And you order it, but what you get just isn't what you expected. <laughs> well, that's how I feel. They told us they're going to work on Bershout versus Valdez, right? Aram, oh, we're going to make that fight, Bershout Valdez. <laughs> okay. That's why I'm not getting excited about the Crawford thing. He's talking about Crawford, Pacquiao. They, 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 they're going to give us Santiago Crawford, bro. All right? <laughs> but, but in all seriousness, there is no seriousness. Like, what do you mean? In all seriousness, there is no seriousness here. G Funky. Alessar Valens, bro. What are your thoughts? <laughs> well, my thoughts are Richie Valens, man. I think he's a pioneer. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but... um. I, I, I don't know. Never heard of the dude. Uh, I know he's about to get stopped. That's what I do know. And um, the only good thing that I could see coming out of this matchup is maybe, well, a couple good things. One, well, a good let, highlight. Let me myself for this one. Go ahead. <laughs> a good highlight reel knockout. You know, those are always enjoyable to see. And um, keep the Valdez fight intact if he, because there's no way he's gonna lose to this guy. So, if if he wins, then, you know, let's see it, man, because that's a good fight right there, and I want to see that one. G Funk is bloodthirsty, bro. Yeah, he, he wants to see a knockout. So this, this quarantine, he's like, I didn't see a knockout. You know what I mean? Like he don't even care if it's a mismatch. He just wants to see somebody get brutally knocked out. First of all, he better win by knockout. And this goes, if dude, if this goes decision, I'm gonna I'm gonna shred Rochelle. Right, you better not. If this dude goes more than three rounds, I'm gonna be pissed off, bro. Alessandro <laughs> Valens, bro. Alessandro Valenzuela. I can't believe that. Well, they couldn't find him, but there was nobody else. Like nobody wanted a title shot. Nowhere in the world, anywhere. I'm, I'm, I'm expected to believe that. Am I expected to believe that, bro? What about the dude that just beat the gold medalist, bro? 
Aidan Gonzalez. He ain't around. You could have given him a shot. I would have taken him. I would have taken him. Oh, the guy that beat Robesio Ramirez. I would have taken that dude. Who's down with ATP, Chief Funky? You know me and everybody. 